Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today, we may very well have a shocking test for you. And I, I've been doing a line abrasion test. And in all prior tests I've done is this Seaguar Blue Label has, uh, has been outperforming the others. However, I've been using this Berkeley Vanish. And, uh, and this is a, you know, a big spool of it. It is much less expensive. It's actually a little bit thinner as well. And it proved to beat the Seaguar. However, uh, those lines were, uh, were old. I'm not sure, I, I didn't get them at the same time. So I literally went back to the store, got two brand new spools just to make sure that, that the test was, uh, was fair. And this is the, the assembly. And how it works is that the lines are both, you know, they both have the same weight. So there's equal tension on both lines. And then I move this bar, which has sandpaper on it. I move it, I basically, it goes, it oscillates back and forth to resemble like the, the head shake of a snook or, or bass, you know, a fish that can, uh, can, can kind of uh, rub through line. These lines have been soaking for a couple hours. So I try to resemble everything possible to keep it as fair as possible. And we will now see if this Berkeley Vanish, which is 10 times less expensive on a per yard basis, can, uh, can still beat the uh, Seaguar Blue Label. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now, Berkeley is over here on this side and Seaguar is on this one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep rubbing like this and, uh, and we'll, just, we'll just see which one, which one fails first. Obviously the one that falls uh, first is gonna be the weaker one. And uh, the reason why I like this test is because you know, I do a lot of snook fishing I like to use as light a line as possible. And if I ever do break off, it's almost always from abrasion, from their, the, you know, their mouths rubbing against the line. So I want to find the best possible 20 pound fluorocarbon line as I could. So that was actually very close. The, uh, the Seaguar broke just a hair faster. That was closer than all the others. Um, I'll try, I'll soak the lines again, rig it back up, and then we're gonna switch sides just to make sure that, you know, that it wasn't from the sandpaper being any different than the other side. All right, so now for round two, I've switched sides. So now we have the, uh, the Vanish on this side and the, uh, the Seaguar over here. And instead of going the back and forth, that, that is, um, you know, this Vanish has won every time. That was actually the closest it has been. A Vanish did pull out uh, a victory there. But um, so instead of going back and forth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna rotate the uh, this the sandpaper so that we can uh, basically emulate you know how um, you know friction would uh, would happen if rubbing up against a dock piling or uh, or something like that. So again, just doing a rotate, uh, same thing as before. Both both lines have the same amount of weight on them. There goes the Seaguar, and uh, and there goes the Vanish. Again, Seaguar was on this side that that broke faster than the Vanish. These lines were soaked once again. I did the test before. They weren't soaked, and uh, either way, Vanish has been pulling out the, the victor, and that's very surprising because on a cost per yard basis, uh, this Vanish is literally 10 times less expensive. Um, so this, uh, this was 250 yards of, of Vanish, cost 15, I wrote it down here, 15.49, and uh, this 25 yard spool of Seaguar was about the same price. It was like actually 50 cents uh, more so again, on, this is six cents per yard, and this is 60 plus cents per yard. And the fact that this is proven to be more abrasion resistant while also being thinner, and, and they're both 100% fluorocarbon, uh, it seems to me like, like this is a pretty clear, uh, pretty clear choice, uh, at least for me going forward. I'll, do, I'll be doing more testing, but just wanted to publish um, this video so that you can uh, see the latest and greatest on the, on the tests. For, uh, for lines. If you do have any questions, please do leave a comment down below or feedback on, on one of these lines, you know, one line versus the other. Love to hear your feedback. But again, a big shocker, this is the line that I've trusted for many years. Um, I've paid the extra money because I, I believe that it was stronger. And, uh, and this, at least so far in my testing, this is definitely proven to either uh, match it or, or actually exceed it. In, uh, in all the uh, all the tests so far. And if you do have any questions or suggestions on different lines to test, you know, please do leave the comment section down below. I do check those as often as I can. And if you do want to see more more tests and, and more product reviews, more independent product reviews, be sure to check out our website, which is saltstrong.com. 
In there, we have a section for product reviews on all sorts of gear for saltwater anglers. And when you're there, be sure to check out the Insider Club membership because we share our best tips, our best tactics. We even share our spots so that the Insider members can get the leg up on everybody else. But once again, thank you so much for your time. I hope you can get out of the water soon and catch some big ones. Strong and wear the line today.